So I'm really, really trying to get caught up and there is so much I want to do reactions to because um, I think it, it's why I'm doing this. Um, it's just, there's just not enough time. Um, and I can't seem to find the right system that just works every time. So anyway, um, but I have to speak about the makeup confrontation with Ken um, because if you've ever tried to do something differently, if you've ever really tried to make a, a fundamental change, right, in your behavior or your reactions to something, um, the pendulum swings, right? It swings really far the other way. And um, I think that's what I did. So uh, I'm gonna just jump in with some intersperses as opposed to watching it live um, and recording so that I can get this out because I do have a couple of little um, thoughts, I guess, on how this whole uh, makeup thing played out. So, thanks. My roommate took my, I, she wasn't supposed to be wearing any makeup. Um, I was looking for one of my matte colors and couldn't find anywhere and it's a long story because there's more to it, but some things clicked that she had said before and I decided just to look at her makeup bag rather than ask her because I didn't want to accuse her until I knew because I thought that would be me. Yeah. So I looked in there and sure enough, there was. She doesn't have, she's not allowed to have any makeup? No, no. But okay. that's not even the point. I mean, she's the one that's been volunteering about, don't trust you, I don't trust, you know. Right, her daughters are here right now. And I don't want uh, them to hear, even though they, yeah. may, they may agree. I don't know, but I don't want them to hear. The housemates. Seven days. Powerful experiences. What was your experience yesterday? When she first came, she had a lot of eye makeup on, mm -hmm. and it was a bit toned down yesterday from the day that she came here. Mm -hmm. we, we've discussed how, you know, the Louis bag, if I even asked her this morning about the bag, you know, why is it that you have to cling to the bag so much? Because that's what it looks like, that you're clinging to things. Sine? That you couldn't ever admit to yourself that there might have been a point to this, and you might have said what she wanted to hear so you could get your stuff back. That just makes me wonder, what will you say to me to manipulate me so I'll give you what you want? Jen? By putting on all of your makeup and all of your whatever you put on yesterday, it was like you found the old Kim. And I thought you were getting somewhere and that you were learning. And then it just felt like it it's, it was disappointing. You told me you didn't learn anything. That you didn't learn anything from what you were doing and that you just didn't understand. And the only time you did that is when your kids walked in the door. I feel really bad for Kim. She went straight back to day one and I think she will always continue to stay at day one. Summer, what was your experience yesterday? Because you're new, so your, your vision is probably fresh. Last week we were playing cards and I looked at you and I was like, you're you've got eyeshadow on. And you're like, no, no, it's natural. And I didn't buy it, but I blew it off. And then a couple days ago, you said something about how I have more makeup than you do. And then this morning I was going through my makeup looking for a certain color and I couldn't find it. And then I remembered that I'd seen you that one day with, the, with what I believe was that eyeshadow. So I just opened up the cabinet to see if your makeup bag was in there. Cause I didn't want to accuse you of doing it if you didn't. And it was, it was in your bag several times over the last few days have talked about how you can't trust me because that hurts so much you're two-faced and i can't trust her and and then i'm just like and i don't believe you're actually trying to take the makeup yeah, was, i don't know what you're talking about yeah I, f I found it in there but i feel like the reason that she's been so vocal about not trusting me and not believing me or whatever is because she's not being honest with herself <sighs> okay so can I give you a word for your vocabulary as opposed to confrontation, which conjures up all kind of attack and, and uh, how about carefrontation? How about you care about somebody enough to bring to their awareness something that you see that's out of balance? How about that? Carefrontation. Does that take a little heat off it? Mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. So ladies, create a great day. Create a great day, okay? Well, the thing is, the first thing I thought when she was like, I don't know what you're talking about, it was like, okay, maybe she has the same color and I just missed it. So Sweetheart, I'm... she's in denial. Who wants to admit that they stole somebody's stuff? 
I'm Especially not, when they have money to go buy more. I'm not gonna be like, yes, well, today I, I took I'm your not and sure used it she was and put it back in the wrong it. place. That's well, honey, she's gonna tell herself whatever she needs to tell herself to feel okay. I know. And to justify her actions. This morning I found out that Kim had not only been lying, but she had taken something from me. And people pleaser would have just said, let's just let it go, because I have to live with her and I want her to like me. I don't want to deal with it. It's not worth it. But I, I knew I couldn't do that, aside from the fact that that does a disservice to her. I mean, I was pissed at first, because she's been saying a lot of stuff about me, like not trusting me and that I'm two-faced and a lot of stuff. But so then we had to go to group stay, and Kim was a topic of conversation and her makeup and her project and have she failed as she succeeded. I knew, you know, if I didn't say something and own up to what I know to be true, then I was doing it just to please her and just to get along with her. And that's not what I want to do anymore. Did you have any other options in terms of how to approach this? I don't like confrontation. I'm scared of it. Well, what if you just said to her, gee, I can't find my... But she wasn't supposed to be using makeup this entire time. So you felt you really couldn't just go to her and say, I can't find my eyeshadow. Maybe you put it in your bag by accident? Because she was, she's never once asked me to use any of my stuff. There's no reason is she you should sure have bathroom? done that. Yeah. Okay. So isn't it possible that mm -mm, maybe... My stuff is all zipped up in a bag. Summer is very proud of how she confronted Kim. However, she can't see that the way she confronted her was not helpful to Kim or herself. What if what if you just said to her, mm -hmm. I can't find my eyeshadow, could you check and see if maybe you mistakenly put it in your bag? I could have done that, you but could've. I wouldn't have been able to because I know she's gonna be defensive. I feel like to be true to myself, I needed to confront her about it, and I didn't feel like all of the information would be there mm -hmm. for Yanla to make an educated decision. I needed the group, even though they didn't have to say anything, I just needed them there for me because I'm not good at it at all let's go with another hypothesis though for a moment what if she really didn't do it with kim either it's not true at all or it was done unintentionally mm -hmm. or she is actually lying about it right but even if it was done unintentionally like she, why was she in my stuff to begin with well but now the question is how, you, how did you find out that she had it and I thought about this, too, because I was like, if I, if I look in there, what's the difference? But my thing was, I don't want to go up to her and say, I can't find this. Do you have it? You're always going to have these choices to make, mm -hmm. whether it be here or with your family or with your friends or in your workplace. Mm -hmm. You're going to have choices to make all along and to think about the consequences. It, isn't it easier to go to anger when you're confused, when you're scared? Because mm -hmm. that's what the Starting Over House is about. Mm -hmm. That's why you've come here, to learn new ways to be in the world. Mm -hmm. So, I want to end the session by saying I really appreciate your honesty, and we will meet again. Yay. Okay? Yay. All I right. Didn't, I, didn't hit, I didn't yell at you today. <laughs> you, you, you can if you want to. No. But you can't I'm yell at me sorry. later now. No. Okay? No. just I mean they turned every one of them turned against me and just started yelling at me and I said what are you talking about it's makeup you're not wearing makeup they think I'm lying about it and then you know I said to Summer what makeup are you talking about? I don't even know what you're talking about I doubt you would even wear her makeup but she, she's the one that set me up and I think she did it on purpose because I told her I didn't trust her so she just an eye for an eye. She's just trying to get back at me. You know, like, she just wants to hate me. There's, I mean, I can tell. No matter how nice I try to be to her, she just wants to hate me. She does. I don't know. She likes you. I don't know. Because she couldn't wait to just jump in for the kill. What are you doing? I was going to park here. But is that red? Okay. Let's go over here, and I'm just going to call her real quick. Iyanla, it's Kim. Uh, not good, and I'm really not feeling like meeting with you right now, so can we put that off? Because I don't want to talk to you right now. Yeah, but I think you exploited me. I think you manipulated me. I think I said I think you exploited me. And I, th yeah, I do. You humiliated me. You know, I just wanted my kids to come and have one day. And I just called and asked you a question, and I get all this out of that, especially when my kids are here. And then I get accused of stealing. So I'm, I'm just not happy. I'm not happy about it at all. 
What were we meeting about? What was your intention on us meeting? All right. Bye. All right, let's go. What's going on? We're going to go meet her and, I guess, talk about it. set up. I'm upset with the way you chose to do it. As far as I'm concerned now, I just shouldn't have even asked. I just said I wanted to go to a nice restaurant. If I knew it was going to be this big a production, I just wouldn't have asked. You know what I should have done? I just should have said, find me a dumpy restaurant. And I think for you to pull me up in front of everybody and then, you know, have everybody attack me, when they all said to me, your makeup looks much better. They said that to me downstairs. But they sure as heck didn't, and they're the ones that told me to call and ask. So I feel like everybody turned on me. I think you were mean. I really do. I think that was mean of you, especially the day that my kids are here. It's ruined my whole day. Being in the starting over house does not mean being on vacation. Kim has chosen to come here and work on her issues. Just because her children are visiting, that does not mean that the process stops. No, you And it was uncalled for. You've ruined your whole And you're day, telling Kim. me not to, you know, that You've I had to take responsibility. Yeah, you do, Kim. Out of control again, hey? Out of control again. I guess so. Can't surrender control again, Kim. So now that you're upset, now that you think I was mean, now that you think I set you up, yep. now that you think that the conversation... And the girls in the house set me up, And the too. girls, yep. the women in the house set you up, yep. everybody set you up, and yep. you're upset. Now what? Where do we go from here? I can leave. Yeah, you can. I can leave the show. You can. So. Do what's That's already right. happened. What do we do now? It's on you. I can leave. Yeah, you can. I can leave the show. You can. So. It's, but, Kim, it's not about you leaving the show. This is your life, my love. The question becomes, what do you do now? What do you do now? Because you came here to heal a pattern of women dishonoring you, disrespecting you. Yeah, you, you did what everybody you, else yeah, does. According to as you. As usual. According to you, but yeah, I'm saying, right. why you is did. it in your you life? Mean. Why is it in your it's life? You mean. I don't why? Know. But is everybody mean, Kim? No. Can't be everybody. No. There's a lot of people that aren't mean. That's but they true. can't be. Why is I all... didn't say everybody was well, mean. Well, if there are six billion people in the world, why do all the mean people come into your life? That's why I'm gonna tell you. That's why I called you. Okay. Did you get me? Yes, message? but then you were in with Mr. Stan. Yeah. So going on. The deal is, I did not want to confront her alone because I don't do confrontation. I don't at all. You don't do confrontation alone, but you did it in a group because I had their support. Like I knew that I was in a place where it was sacred because we're supposed to leave. This is what they girls have told me. You're supposed to leave what we talk about up there. Like you can't get angry at somebody for giving you feedback up there and whatever. Like so, I'm okay. thinking, okay, we're up there. And my options in my head were either, because Iyanla was going to talk to her about yesterday, and I knew that. Mm -hmm. And I didn't feel like she needed to make decisions when she didn't have the whole story. Because I can assure okay. you, Kim okay. was okay. wearing... Yes, so now, you, now you're helping Iyanla out at her job. Not necessarily. The, well, that's what you just got done saying. Well, what you I'm saying is, Iyanla needs all the information, is what you just got done saying to me. But in my mind, I'm looking at it like, I need to say this in a place where I feel safe, where everybody's gonna have all the information because she could have hit it. You could have well, called I didn't, me. I, I, I never thought of calling you because you're my coach, not. And I thought that I needed because it's her. Okay. So I just want you to hear how you say one thing, and then I say something, and then you say the opposite. Okay. Well, because I'm trying to define it. And you're trying to defend. Well, yeah. Okay. Summer is obviously an expert evidence builder, and she had a plan to make Kim the culprit and her the innocent one. All I'm attempting to do is explore the reasons why, and you definitely have an agenda that speaking in front of the group, is what you're saying you did, mm -hmm. in, in group, is that what you said? Mm -hmm. Was the right thing to do because of how you were feeling? Yeah. Okay. 
And just because it's how you are feeling, does that justify whether you do it in front of people or, or to the person by themselves? I wouldn't have done it by myself. I wouldn't have done it. If you called me, you would have. Man, can you spell defensive? I can't even, like, it's almost like I had this energy rush of like, oh my God, I did it, I did it, I did it. And then I had to go like talk through it or, you know, it's maybe I'm like a little puppy bringing a toy back to mom and dad. I just, I don't know. The, just the, the way I'm talking about it, I can so clearly see now um, how defensive I was and how scared I was to even accuse her in the first place. And I just, I can't believe I wasn't then. Like, I didn't see it then. So, anyway, I had to share. Let me ask you a question. Can I talk to them for a second? Thank you. Do you get it? Just now I'm getting it because with her broken relationships, it's starting to come with you. And now she's not necessarily blaming, but she's not seeing that people aren't attacking her. And even though in that room she felt really vulnerable and there was probably some things that went wrong. But see, that's the question. What is the distinction between being vulnerable and being attacked? Hmm. There's a distinction there. Yeah, that's why I think you just need to get that, she needs to get that trust. And of course she's going to go through these things and it's not going to make any sense for a while. But even when we get there and we're off guard, it didn't make much sense to us. And it seemed like people were attacking her in a lot of ways just because that was the focus of the house for for a whole day was that she might have worn makeup and, and to us it didn't make a lot of sense why it was such a big deal that they were so upset about it and now that we hear everything it's all kind of coming together but I think that that is her learning experience and I think that's a very hard thing to face and you don't you say you don't get the assignment it's not making any sense to you so if you don't understand that then what do you understand that you think will help? I guess I don't trust the process. After after what happened today, I don't trust it. I don't trust well, them, here, and I don't trust you. Well, here's what I find interesting. That it's everybody but you. Is that what the church did? Didn't listen to your perception? Is that what your sister did? Is that what every broken Why relationship... Why are you turning it around to me? Because, Kim, it's your life. Why is this going on in your life? It's your life. When is your life going to be about you? That's all I want to know. When is your life going to be about you? So should I have confronted Kim um, or asked her if she had my makeup somehow in her bag? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I really should have. Um, I was scared. I mean, I really was so scared to have been putting all of these things together and and start to... Well, I mean, Rhonda said it when we're talking, um, she called me an evidence builder. And I think a lot of us are probably that, but, um, it's like all I, I needed a reason to stand up for myself or, or to speak up and, and try not to be that people pleasing person. And all of the things clicked at the same time. And so in the years since, and transparently, Kim and I have never talked about this, uh, Kim, if you're out there, I would actually like to do that. I think we were all very raw um, when we left and there was just a lot going on in the world. Um, so, and we didn't really stay in touch. Um, and I'm sure that was probably on purpose for both of us um, at the time, but 100% would be open because I'm, I'm interested if she's gonna think the same thing I do now, which is I now think that production was going through the footage and saw that, you know, I was like, oh, Kim, it looks like you have makeup on. And, you know, saw all these things happening. Like that these, um, ex I don't know, stories were presenting themselves and went and put my makeup in her bag. I, I really believe that now because they would come up to us at all times and be like, oh, you might, you know, act seeming like they were our friends, right? And um, oh, just so you know, Oh, they're in there talking about it. you might want to check it out. And I get it. That's whatever. That's their job. But FYI, if you don't know that's happening on all these other shows you're watching, <laughs> uh, it is. So they're stirring the pot. Um, but I really think looking back, that's probably what happened. Uh, and the other thing that I really found interesting was uh, 
in the car, Chelsea is, Kim's, you know, just going off about how I'm ready to attack her and I'm never going to like her. And that's not it. Like, that's so not it. I just wanted to be accepted, you know, as this tight knit group of five. And then I come in and I'm, everything I do is wrong. Um, but listening to Chelsea from the back while Kim is, you know, kind of ranting, talking about how I never want to like her and I was never going to like her. Um, and Chelsea's like, no, she, I think she likes you. And I, I don't know. I, I really appreciated that. So, um, well, let's keep watching, see if I got more. Well, the big, the challenge I have, and I appreciate that you did something different. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that you tried a new approach. Okay, I, I appreciate that. Whether the approach is the best approach or not, it's neither here nor there. The bottom line is you tried something new. Yeah. So I'm great about that. Mm -hmm. Where the story goes off for me is that you actually made an effort to look in her bag mm -hmm. without talking to her first and that you were actually breaking her privacy in order to prove your point. It never occurred to me to just ask her. And that's what we have to work on. Except that it occurred to me to ask her if she had it, like, as in, I can't find it, but I can assure you, I really feel very secure in knowing that she would have been offended that it I asked. It doesn't matter. Isn't she offended now? Well, yeah, but okay. she did it. <laughs> well, you think I I know this is this is where I go in the story the story okay. that you actually looked at her stuff without mm -hmm. with breaking her privacy that's where I go wait a minute this was your time to heal and I applaud your courage I applaud I bow to your courage to come forth and do this publicly I also told you that when life gives you something to do Kim you can't just do the parts you like you gotta do it all. Well, I thought I was doing it all. That's the thing. I really did. Okay. That's what I don't understand. Is it possible that just like your daughter said, that you're striving for perfection, that you miss the goodies in the process? I guess. I just feel worse about myself. I feel horrible. <laughs> Tell me, define horrible for me. Come on, define horrible. I Y'all breathe. Feel... She's really okay. <laughs> I just feel like I'm hopeless. Mm. Like I'm never gonna get help. Like nobody's ever gonna understand me. <laughs> Is there another choice you can make? this moment right now is there another choice Kim? Well, choice. I guess I can stay instead of running away that's a choice I thought I was making progress and I why do I you was... think you're not because you hit a bump in the road you think I that's guess. not progress no there's bumps in the road there are bumps in the road when you hit a pothole do you stop the car do you return <laughs> the car in and go buy a new car because you hit a dirt <laughs> pothole no you say Lord I hope I don't lose my hubcap and keep on moving <laughs> <laughs> You're awfulizing again. She awfulizes. You know what that means? <laughs> See something and expect the worst and then start talking about it as if the worst has already happened. She awfulizes. Does she do that? Yeah. yeah. I do that all the time, yeah. though. Until today. No more. <laughs> Train that And dog. I quit telling my story. I did that. Yeah, so you did. I was proud of it. But that. you were trying to make up another story that really didn't fit. You have a gift for fiction. We already know that. I don't know why I do that. Okay, what have we learned? Tell me what you've become aware of, because that's the step we are. That when I hit a bump in the road, I feel attacked and humiliated and embarrassed and that it's just a bump and it's not that I'm bad or wrong. It's just growth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, why am I like that? Well, it's not just you. Join the human race. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you're not the only filtered <laughs> being on the planet. <laughs> but I've done every assignment. Yes, you have. And I've surrendered. Yes, absolutely. I'm going to give you that, too. That's a victory. But I want to give you the biggest victory of all. Can I, give, can I offer you that? Yeah. That you have allowed yourself to be vulnerable in front of your daughters. I know. That was hard. Wow. It what was a gift. really hard. What a gift. 
I want you to give yourself that. Yeah, take it in. Take it in, Kim. Take it in. Take it in. Yeah. Do you appreciate it? Would you like to give her a hug? Go on, come on, come on, come on. Give your mama a hug. Give your mama a hug now. Give your mama a hug. Let's go. Just give your mama a hug. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, this is a big victory. Yeah. Why don't you just talk about all the ways you're beating yourself up in this one little incident? Well, first of all, I didn't want to just look in her bag. Okay, but you did. But I did. Okay, so you're beating yourself up because you looked in her bag. Even though so. I felt like I had to. Like, I actually made that, to have that conversation in my head. If I don't do it, then I'm going to have to go accuse her. And, you know, or ask like, her. But it just felt like that's not the word that came into my head. I, I mean, I understand that. I will think of it differently now, but I, if I'm addressing it, then I just figured I was doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I mean, originally, and not just letting it go because I want her to like me. So I let haven't... me just say, everything that occurs in this house related to you is about you. No. Yes. No, because there's other people. I understand there's other people, but everything in this house that bothers you, makes you angry, upsets you, is about you. Mm -hmm. It's not about them making you angry. It's about your anger, about your frustration, about your upset. That just feels so self-centered. <laughs> and you know, while you're in the house, it's gonna feel like you're self-centered and that's what you need to do. Everything, everything while you're in this house is about Summer. So it's all about you. I don't like that. It's about you. I don't like that. I know. <laughs> that's why I'm saying it. I know. Well, that was quite an emotional episode. Um, man, we're all like baby, baby deer trying to learn new skills. And I just, I, my heart pounded because I remember how scared I was to confront her and how ashamed I was that I actually looked in her bag. And I mean, in this case, I, I kind of do feel like I did everything wrong in trying to do something new and right. And so... But I also um, appreciate, I know this is a little bit of a long reaction video since you probably already saw the real episode. But um, I just felt like Kim and her daughters and, and that all of those conversations were important too and, and a very much a part of understanding how like when we were in the house, things could get blown out of control or, you know, blown out of proportion because we, we were each going through our own things and having our own filters. Um, applied so y you do hear things with you know they talk about rose colored glasses you know um what well, works for words and and sentiment and whatever filter you put on your ears i guess um is what what you'll hear and so <sighs> this is really be this is really cathartic for me for sure because i am really, really relating to Kim um, and what we went through. So, <laughs> what? I get emotional at the very end? Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, thanks for hanging in. More to come.